Twelve years ago, students began to create life-size models of a rainforest and a coral reef in the Learning Center at Montessori in District 205. Teachers created curriculum and guided students in research projects. Through the Illinois Arts Council Artist-in-Residence program, a local artist who is also a Montessori parent was brought in to design the installations and lead the workshops creating models of animals and plant life. All students at Montessori had a role and were included. Our coral reef and rainforest exhibits have been regularly renewed with the three-year teaching cycle of the curriculum. Students became researchers, tour guides, and curators of the exhibition. Philippe, the giant sea turtle being installed in the commons at Thurgood Marshall, is one of the original models. Many of the models were built by older brothers and sisters of kids who are now in Montessori. The original installations must have been incredibly fun to make. You can see how many hands were involved. We've had fun making new models, studying the habitats, imagining life in the rainforest and by the ocean. We've done research projects. We also became actors, singers, and drummers in plays set in our coral reef and rainforest. The rainforest and coral reef are like a huge diorama. We can actually go inside. There's the feeling that we belong to nature. We are part of an awesome universe of beauty, art, and mystery. Since the beginning, we are all connected in this way, which brings us to today. Inspired by the Coral Reef installation at Haight School, Thurgood Marshall School is launching its own community arts project titled Oceania. The first phase being a clay tile mural that every student in the building gets their hands on. With our school's new kiln, art teacher Lisa Normoyle and local clay artist Drew Helge have begun test firings that will lead to new creations of a large-scale ocean-themed tile mural. Students will hold a clay stomp to help prepare 500 pounds of clay for the mural. My name is Angelica, and I am in 8th grade, and we are messing with clay. We can't do clay because you can do a lot of stuff with it. The second phase would be to create a life-size model of a coral reef. Students would be researching animals, they would be creating life-size models of animals that would then live on this coral. The Coral Reef will provide a location for the models of marine animals constructed by students in the process of studying the coral reef habitat. Tasks include creating gallery display areas, floor and wall surfaces to present artwork, integrating lighting, adding sculptures and artifacts tied to the Oceania theme. This is important to me because every single animal deserves to live just like us. The last phase is an ongoing phase where students could be making curriculum dealing with ocean issues. Exhibits will be designed to integrate 4th or 8th grade curriculum to create awareness of the environmental issues presently degrading Earth's oceans. This fine arts project will bring the community of people together at Marshall, giving a sense of pride in a beautiful work of public art made possible by collaboration. The ocean needs our help. I'm Rich Muniz, and I endorse this project. And I'm Lisa Normoyle, and I endorse this project. I'm Ray Garza, and I endorse this project. I'm Jill Faber, and I can't wait to see where we go with this project. <laughs> Please help us by supporting our Kickstarter. <laughs> wait a second.